I've come through to the Microbit website and I'm going to create a new project. The web address is makecode.microbit.org and I'm going to give my project a name, so let's call it um, click create. Now, if you've never been to the Microbit website before, this is the basic layout. You have the virtual microbit over here where you can do some testing and you'll see how that works in a moment. Um, you have the basic blocks down the center here and down the bottom you've got the advanced um, section here. Normally it's like this. There's a click on the drop down and the um, advanced blocks are revealed. And we're at the moment interested in the extensions block at the bottom here. You can also get to the extensions block over on the gear on the right hand side over here if you click on here you can go down to extensions and click on it there. We're going to use this option here and what we're going to do is we can just scroll through um, the extensions here and we can add these. And What these extensions do is they add blocks um, of new blocks to your project to allow you to control or use your microbit in conjunction with something else. In this case we want to add the Kittronic um, servo board so just type in Kittronic and you can see here servo light motor driver and the 16 servo board which is the one that we're interested in but if you scroll through you can see there's a whole load of other Kittronic peripherals that you can do which will connect to your micro bit but the one we're looking at and we're interested in is this one here the 16 servo board and just make sure it's not this one down here no it's not it's this one here so we'll click on this and that block will be added to our um, microbit project here. So let's just see. Let's let's click on here. Let's click on uh, on button A. And inside the servo block here, we've got here set servo to whatever. So let's servo one. Let's just put it into here. And let's set servo one to ninety degrees. This is zeroing. Okay, so you can see what happens over here. Click on the A here. Now, ordinarily, if you were using microbit blocks, you would see a model of a servo. Let's have a look at this over here. So let's just come down to here. If you wanted to cl click on the pins down here and scroll down to the bottom, servo right pin, and that would be directly connecting to this port here on your micro bit with a 3 volt on the ground connected via a, um, um, a crocodile clip. Click on here, you can get a fritzing diagram. So now if we put pin 0 to pin 1, can you see now here what, what micro bit creates for you is a fritzing diagram to show you exactly what the connections are. And that only works with the native Microsoft um, micro bit blocks in here. So we've got a wiring diagram, but the moment I take that out and delete it and put the Kittronic blocks in, that's all going to disappear. So it's the same thing, but this is to, to, to zero your servos, you need to make sure that you've chosen the right servo number, you set it to 90 degrees, and that will put your servo in the middle. You've got a full range from zero to 180 degrees and we want ours to be at 90 and that is zeroed with the arm in the middle to give you with your robotic arm a full 180 degrees sweep. So set or zero your servos at 90 degrees.